Diagnostic Microbiology A Laboratory Manual Cerebrospinal Fluid Culture Purpose To aid in the diagnosis of meningitis, a central nervous system infection by the identification and or isolation of causative agent and determine the suitable antibiotic treatment. Meningitis is a medical emergency. Anatomy Meninges are the three layers outlining the brain for protection. Dab Dora Mata, Arachnoid, and Pia Mata. CSF infection Types of meningitis Bacterial, causing purulent meningitis or tubercular meningitis Viral, causing aseptic meningitis Fungal meningitis Parasitic, causing amoebic meningitis or isonophilic meningitis CSF sampling Lumpar puncture into L34 or L45 Taking a volume between 5 and 10 ml Distribute equally into three tubes Tube 1 for chemistry and serology Tube 2 for microbiology and Tube 3 for hematology Tube 1 least affected by hemolysis Tube 2 largely contains the actual infectious agents Tube 3 least cells from traumatic tap CSF tests Tube 1 for measuring total protein and glucose and sometimes electrophoresis Tube 2 preserve at 20 celsius for culture, gram stain, and sometimes special cultures for fungal, MTV, and viral. Tube 3. Preserve at 4 Celsius for cell count and cytology. CSF sample rejection. CSF sample can be rejected in any of the following. However, alert physician before discarding. Quality of CSF sample. Hemolyzed CSF caused by traumatic tab or hemorrhage. Traumatic tab is viewed as gradually diminishing red color across the three tubes or clot formation due to plasma fibrinogen. Hemorrhage is viewed as evenly distributed red color across the three tubes or the absence of clot. Physical examination of CSF. Appearance. Normally, CSF is crystal clear or bloody due to increased RBCs or turbid due to increased white BCs or xanthochromic, yellow, pink or orange due to hemoglobin or bilirubin, carotene, protein or melanin or with pellicle formation due to tubercular meningitis. CSF tube 2, microbiology. Always start with tube 2. If one tube is available, microbiology comes first. CSF routine test protocol. At room temperature, immediately spin at 1500 G for 15 minutes. If volume is less than 1 ml, skip spinning. Take supernatant for RDTs and chemistry. 0.5 ml sediment is plated on culture media and spread on clean slides for wet mount and gram stain. As for culture, part of the 0.5 sediment is plated on sheep blood agar or chocolate agar and incubated as shown. One drop is put into a broth and incubated as shown. Then subcultured on SBA and chocolate agar. On SBA, we mostly expect Streptococcus pneumoniae or Neisseria meningitidis. While on chocolate agar, we additionally expect Haemophilus influenzae. These three organisms represent 95% of the cases. Mostly, meningitis is caused by a single organism. If culture is positive, perform antimicrobial susceptibility testing. CSF gram stain, Streptococcus pneumoniae, gram positive diplococci. Any organism demonstrated by gram stain is a panic value. CSF gram stain, Neisseria meningitidis. Pleocytosis, increase neutrophil count. Intracellular gram negative diplococci. CSF gram stain, Listeria monocytogenes, gram positive bacilli.
هيموفيلس انفلونزا جرام نيجاتيف كوكو باسيلاي سي اس اف تيوب 3 هيماتولوجي ذا ريزلتس اوف ذا 3 تيوبس ار انتربريتد توجذر سي اس اف وات بي سي كاونت 1 هيموسايتوميتر كونتينز 2 تشامبرز 1 تشامبر كونتينز 9 جريدز The depth of a chamber is 0.1 mm. CSF, watt BC count, formula, watt BC count equals total count times dilution over a number of grids counted times grid volume. Count grids 1, 3, 5, 8, and 9. The grid volume equals length times width times height. 1 mm times 1 mm times 0.1 mm equals 0.1 microliter. CSF, white BC count, dilution. CSF can be counted undiluted or 1 to 10 or 1 to 20. Dilution depends on wet mount assessment. The higher the white BC is, the higher the dilution. Or CSF appearance. The higher the turbidity, the higher the dilution. In a clean test tube, Mix the appropriate amounts of Turk solution and CSF according to the dilution shown here. Mix well and load into the chamber. Calculations Example 1 Calculations Example 2 Calculations Example 3 CSF White BC count Automation Hematology cell counters offer CSF counting option However, manual cell count and microscopic cytology remain the gold standard CSF differential count, staining, any Romanovsky stain can be used, right, Gimza, right Gimza, May Grunwald, or May Grunwald Gimza. Spread 20 microliters of CSF sediment on a clean slide, stain according to protocol, CSF differential count, viral meningitis, evidenced by the presence of lymphocytes, plasma cells and monocytes CSF differential count activated monocytes isonophilic meningitis indicating parasitic infection lymphocytes and plasma cells CSF differential count bacterial meningitis Comparison between May Grunwald Gimza stain and Gram stain. In both stains, neutrophils and intracellular bacteria are demonstrated. CSF, tube 1, chemistry and serology. The three tubes are interpreted concurrently. Protein in CSF is determined either by turbidimetric assay, such as SSA and TSA, as described elsewhere, or calorimetric copper binding assay, such as biorate method, or by dye binding assay, such as Comassay Brilliant Blue. Protein can be determined by manual methods or by automated chemistry analyzers. Glucose determination CSF blood glucose ratio equals 0.6, ranging between 0.4 to 0.88. For the accurate determination of CSF glucose, first, Measure blood glucose two hours before spinal tap. Test CSF glucose immediately. Use the same procedure for both. CSF, chemistry tests, interpretation. Compared to normal values, bacterial meningitis is characterized by turbid appearance, increased white BCs, predominantly neutrophils, low glucose levels, and high protein levels. While viral meningitis is characterized by normally clear appearance, increased white BCs, predominantly lymphocytes and monocytes, 
normal glucose levels and increased protein levels. CSF, chemistry tests, protein and glucose levels are routinely determined. Other tests can be requested on special occasions. CSF serology, either antigen detection using LA and ELISA to detect any of the following pathogens or antibody detection such as VDRL for detecting neurosyphilis. Troubleshoots. See the following table for possible troubleshoots. Use the following form to report results. References.